from the Second Street Dreams Audio Network, this is to come. Quick notes dotting the classical music landscape. I'm Judlin Gibson. Opera at the Racetrack. That's right, Tosca at the Racetrack at America's only Formula One Speedway. <laughs> it has to be one of the most innovative pandemic pivots. Performing an opera live with an audience at the Racetrack's Amphitheater. Austin Opera's general director and CEO, Annie Burridge, tells us how it all came about. Did that come out of desperation or just new ideas or what? Yes, Judlin, I think desperation is a fair word to use. Uh, last, It was actually last summer uh, when we realized that, you know, this was all going to go on for much more longer than we expected. And we had to figure out some way to, to program our season. Um, I threw my uh, little girl in the back seat of my car and I drove around Austin for an entire day to check out every outdoor venue that existed. I was able to kind of sweet talk my way onto the grounds of Circuit of the Americas to take a look at the amphitheater uh, that they have there. And it's such a, a striking and beautiful performance venue. And I thought there's a, there is a real possibility here. You know, it's a large venue, it normally seats 10,000 people. So they have real infrastructure. You know, they've got comfortable seats and concessions. After some of the major players agreed to this setup, and the folks at the Circuit of the Americas said yes, the next step was to figure out how to keep everyone COVID free. So to, to pull out this production safely, every single rehearsal will take place outside. Uh, so we are actually putting a tent up in our parking lot at our rehearsal studio. And so we'll be having all staging rehearsals outside in our parking lot. We will then move out to Circuit of the Americas for outdoor rehearsals. They will be all staged in a dramatic but distanced manner. Um, the orchestra will be on stage also distanced. Um, so the orchestra will be masked unless you play your instrument with your mouth. Um, our principal singers will not have masks, but they will be distanced. And our chorus will be singing with masks. The audience will also be seated in socially distant sections of the amphitheater. So this production that we're doing is set in 1930s fascist Italy. And uh, the racetrack has some really exciting red scaffolding. It would just work perfectly for the piece. We're so excited about the ability to, to try this out. Um, and, you know, the future of classical performing arts seasons really is a big question mark right now. And I don't mean that in a, a negative or a right. scary way. I think it, there's an exciting opportunity for us to program seasons moving forward that don't look the same every single year. Right. right. So, you know, one year we may have our traditional season with a number of operas in the Long Center for the Performing Arts, but maybe every other season, one show in a different venue. <laughs> The Austin Opera's production of Tosca at the Amphitheater at the Circuit of the Americas runs April 29th and May 1st, with rain dates of April 30th and May 2nd. There are links on the Staccato page at kmfa.org. That's Staccato. I'm Jutlin Gibson on the Second Street Dreams audio network at secondstreetdreams.com. <laughs> Vede a Ceffi di birra in ogni volta!